Hello everybody, time for another shave. Just gonna show you a t-shirt I got today. A black beautiful t-shirt with the logo, Balance Diving. It's a diver with a underwater scooter, diving. And the back side of the t-shirt looks like this. Team Balance Diving. Uh, and on the side of the t-shirt, you got my name. <laughs> it's actually a friend of mine is a diving instructor he's been diving for several years i've been, been diving for um, five six years something about that always been a good friend of mine and uh, always helping him with diving uh, equipment and everything and he's a really really nice uh, instructor so his company is called uh, balance diving this logo actually i have done this logo to him it's a photo underwater photo i took of his when he was diving with the scooter uh, a couple of years ago and after a couple of years oh, a, couple of, a year later he started thinking of starting up a company so he asked me if i could do a logo so i did this logo to him <laughs> and it's really nice in my opinion i'm going to start talking about the shave too uh, today i'm going to use my geese and a foster shave uh, razor uh, six eight razor really beautiful razor with the uh, gold plated back spine as you can see here with a nice uh, wooden scales Ex uh, ex not extra hollow, hollow, hollow grind razor at least uh, really beautiful razor in my opinion really nice the soap i'm gonna use today is uh, two for the needle sandalwood i haven't used this soap in a while so it's actually blooming in a little bit of water at the moment and the brush to be my, uh, I think, I think this, this is the right side, sorry. My Omega brush, bore brush. Um, I don't know, 26, 28 millimeters snot, I don't know. Uh, very nice snot at least, I like it very much. And I'm gonna finish with um, the Sweden Switch uh, Sandalwood Balm. Uh, really nice, I like it very, very much. So that's the equipment and that's the soap I'm gonna use. Yeah, talking about, uh, I'm just taking this blue water on my face. Blue me was soap because it's a little bit dry. I haven't uh, used it in a while, so sometimes it's actually good to bloom some soaps. Yeah, this uh, diving thing. I've been diving for several years. Uh, Peter, that's the name of the guy, Peter Person, uh, Peter Nilsson, sorry. I'm so confused sometimes of Peter Nilsson. He's a really, really talented diver. Uh, been an instructor in a couple of different organizations. Global Underwater Explorer, Explorers from the USA. Really nice uh, organization in my opinion. And sorry, it's itching in my back. <laughs> uh, and at the moment he's an uh, instructor in EO Entity, uh, another organization. I haven't uh, done any uh, dives or certifications in that organization. Me, myself, I'm a dive master on, in a party organization and uh, in Global Underwater Explorers, GUE, uh, I have a recreational level three, uh, means you can dive to 39 meters with three mix blending, uh, three mix mix, sorry. <laughs> and that's, I, it will take us several hours to explain everything about diving, but very simple, easy to tell. Recreation diving is often up to 30 meters. You dive with ordinary air in your tubes or cylinders you got and uh, you don't have to use any specific equipment when you want to dive deeper than 30 meters then you have to start to think a little bit different you have to do another gas mixes and depends on what Deep you want to dive, often they say when you dive over or deeper than 30 meters, you start to get more technical dives. 
and if you start to go deeper and deeper and deeper even more education you need and even more different kind of mixes you need so in my opinion 39 meters is a skill level that fits me and my diving I don't use mixes when I dive ordinary dives to 30 meters because I don't need but I get the skill set so if I want to dive deeper I know how to do and I know what kind of gas mixes I need and what uh, what things I have to do I think I have about uh, just thinking <laughs> 250 log dives and I think I have to 300 dives totally and all my dives is here in Sweden I haven't done any dives somewhere else which I hope can do someday. <laughs> the diving is really fun. You have to see the underwater life. Maybe do some dives in wrecks and so it's really fun. I love diving very much. But Pietro is a, at the moment as a is a instructor in EO entity. In uh, I think it's some two weeks from now. He's going to have a. Um, Students going to learn more diving skills, diving skills, and I'm going to help him with that. Um, like a dive master team, I'm helping him with the pupils or whatever your pupils are. You know what I mean? <laughs> the divers and helping with the other things in the water, filming a bit so they can see what they are doing underwater. It's um, easy to explain. You have to do this and you do this thing and you. When you don't see it, you think you're doing right, but it's difficult to know. But if someone films what you're doing, you're doing your skills, very easy to explain this. If this is a diver, this racer is a diver, and um, you have to be trimmed in water, that means you have to be horizontal like this, and often if these, these are your feet, you often dive like this, and you think you have this position in water, but you off, almost always have this position, and the dive instructor tells you, tells you that you have to move your head down and get more of the trim and they think they are in trim but they don't see it they think but if I can film them when they are like this in the water and the instructor says you see you have to tilt your head forward or whatever you have to do just to get uh, more trim in the water and if I film that they can understand it much much more easier and that's a huge advantage actually in uh, education I have had in, in a couple of years now. And we always have fun. Because in my opinion, 
diving should be fun. At least when you do recreational dives and technical dives, it has to be fun, of course, when you go deeper. The more margins for error is the more less you have to do things more precise. And that's why it's called technical dives. But me and Peter always have a blast when he's diving. Always, always, always talking, talking, talking about dives and everything. Uh, I just love it to have spend some hours with him in, in different dive sites and so on. It's really a blast. And as I told you, go for a uh, wreck dive or whatever you want to do. In quarries here in Sweden, we dive a lot, lot of, in. There was a lot of crawfish, a lot of pikes, perch, and so on, a lot of fish. It's really fun, really nice. Easy dice to do too. The difficult thing here in Sweden is that You can't see so much underwater. I mean, the distance is not so clear water. So you have to have a flashlight with you and you have to. If you want to dive on a wreck, you have to know where the wreck is. And. Uh, we can't see it so far, so you have to know where it is, where to find it. Often that's not the problem, but still you haven't got so many meters of sight. And it's cold, always cold. So you have to have a dry suit. And this shape feels like a really nice technical dive. <laughs> oh, just kidding, it was a really nice shave. I'm tired today. I had taken a hot sauna a couple of half an hour ago and I enjoyed it very much. I'm just gonna rinse a bit. Really nice. I got that T-shirt today because uh, his company is uh, Balance Diving, but he's a uh, distributor or seller to uh, another company called Real Diving. Uh, sells uh, diving equipment. So he and this. Well, I'm talking two things at the same time. <laughs> Sorry. This bone is really thick, uh, really, really thick. It's just, just a dip that thick. Two clicks like that is actually enough to get on your face. It's really nice, in my opinion. Yeah, he's a reseller to real diving, diving equipment. So they have a demo, demo day, demo demonstration day. Uh, that real diving was there. Shown some flashlights, bright uh, uh, suits, and so on, so different things. And they had a little thing at the, at the quarry called Ökelinga Stenbrot. So I just have to go there and visit him and helping him out a little bit and talk to divers and so on. It was really fun. I didn't do any dives because I'm a little bit cold, so I didn't want to go to uh, and do dives. 
So it was fun, really fun. Okay, thank you everybody for listening to my uh, mumbling about diving. <laughs> Nothing uh, shape related there, but the star of today is, in my opinion, this beautiful, beautiful geese and of also razor. Uh, I love it very much. It's a six eight razor, a hollow grind razor, rounded nose and everything. It's it's a beauty, real, real beauty. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all gonna have a beautiful weekend, and we shall see you next time whenever it is. Bye bye, so long.